I guess I was really keen on music from a young age. I picked up the recorder at the age of 11. My um, brother and sister were into ballroom and Latin dancing, which uh, kind of, I think, prompted me to get into the arts. Yeah, my mom is into um, choirs and she's a choir conductor. At the same time, my father also was very much into uh, Iron Maiden and Queen, Rolling Stones, which was a very completely different side of, of music. I feel like I discovered music through them. If it weren't for my parents, then I don't think I would have the palette that I have necessarily, you know, or the diversity in terms of what I'm influenced by. When I got to high school, my teacher suggested that I perhaps pick up a different instrument. She saw talent, she must have, and she felt that it was necessary for me to perhaps look into something else and find a different instrument. And once I did, when I got into the big band at Sterling High School, uh, we, we used to go and actually do a couple of off gigs and concerts. And so that was, I think, the first idea for me into what it really entails to be a musician. A lot happened in 1999. I met Zim Nawana and I met Marcus Wyatt, Buddy Wells, um, Winston Mangunku. It all happened around those two years before I left school. So I think that the impression had already been made. I hear music in the bus that just went past. I hear music when birds sing, when people speak, there's rhythm. So I guess for me, it's just, it's all around me, you know, the, the, I get inspired by everything. Look, there's a lot of feeling that goes on, but I, I don't necessarily know how to explain where I go in the gig where, you know, we transcend for a bit and you can lose yourself. For instance, I'm one of those artists that won't stop dancing because that's simply what's going on. You know, if the, if the bass and the groove starts and it's happening and it's really amazing, I've got to go with it. Um, but I'm not necessarily conscious of what I'm doing. That's what I really love about jazz. It's the most free space under the sun. It's really fantastic. My next step moving forward, I think would be to try and solidify my solo career. Um, I'd like to be able to, I suppose, release a couple of albums um, in my own name, just as Siama Kuzeni. Um, well, I'd like to say thank you to Standard Bank, as well as the National Arts Festival, as well as the National Youth Jazz Festival for such an amazing opportunity. I, I've been on this journey since 1998 through all the different programs that they have offered um, as part of the National Arts Festival in Grahamstown. And I think a lot of what I have learned has really helped me to become the musician that I am today.